So far we have covered all the basic concepts related to lights. Now we are going to discuss about some advanced lighting concepts and we are going to see how we can implement them in Unity. So in this video we will discuss the concept of global illumination or GI for short. Now before we start talking about global illumination there are a few different properties and concepts that we need to talk about. So we will start by talking about different modes of lights. Inside Unity we have four different types of lights and these lights can be further categorized in three different modes which are real time, baked and mixed lights. So here if I select any one of these lights that we have here in our scene in the hierarchy window I'll select the directional light and on the right side in the inspector window you'll notice that we have a property called as mode under our light component. This mode property defines how the light will be used in our scene. So if I click on this drop down here, you'll notice that we have three different options, real time, mixed and bake. So real time lights are the ones which calculates and updates lighting every frame at one time. They can be used in dynamic situations where they will respond to their surroundings. So we can also change their properties such as color, intensity, range in real time. Whereas in case of baked lights, all lighting calculations are done ahead of time which means that there is no runtime overhead for these lights. Also we cannot change any of the properties such as the intensity color in real time which means that we need to figure out all of these properties before baking these lights in our scene. Finally we have mixed lights which is combination of both real time and bake lights and this type of light is generally used in situations where you want to cast the light on both dynamic and static objects. So these are three different modes of lights that we can use depending on our scene. In this case I'm just going to leave this to real time. Now let's move further and talk about the behavior of light or how light behaves in the 3D scene. So whenever the light is casted in the 3D scene it affects game objects in two different ways. When light is casted in the scene, light ray first hits the objects directly in our scene and then further it bounces around. So whenever the objects get directly hit by light, such lighting effect that we get is called as direct lighting. And when the light ray further bounces around and hit the rest of the objects or parts of the object that are not directly hit by the light rays, the lighting effect that we get is called as indirect lighting. By default inside Unity we have both direct and indirect lighting enabled but in this case I have intentionally disabled the indirect lighting so here if I go on the other side of the church you'll notice that this side of the church is completely dark as indirect lighting is completely absent and that's why only parts of the church that are directly hit by our light are affected by it and the rest of the church is completely dark. So now let's discuss uh, some ways in which we can enable indirect lighting in Unity. So first is using the environment lighting. This technique just adds of the certain color or color of our skybox on top of all the objects in our scene. This technique doesn't create the most accurate and realistic looking results but it is the cheapest way to get indirect lighting in Unity. And another way is using the global animation. It is a technique which attempts to simulate the complex behavior of light as it bounces and interacts with our 3D world. This technique can give us the photorealistic and accurate results but it can be computationally expensive at the same time. In this course we will be using the global illumination to add the accurate and realistic indirect lighting to our scene. So in the upcoming videos we will see how we can use global illumination inside Unity. So in the next video we will continue to learn more about global nation and also we will cover the lighting window where you can find the most important settings related to lights.